our show. You ready for more? Come on, a new comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, we had such a great time with her, Donna Herman Cavallis here for So I drove my husband here tonight, and that's always a lot of fun driving with my husband. And I could see he's in the car, and he's like looking over, looking at the mirrors, looking over the windows, checking my speed. Then he gives me these signals with his head. So when he goes like this, that signal means move to the right lane. When he goes like this, that signal tells me to move to the left lane. So I stopped short, and he went like this, and he said to me, what did you do that for? And I said, that's my signal for you to get the fuck out of the car. weight loss program and due to Zoom, due to COVID, we have Zoom. And don't we all look like we're in the Brady Bunch grin? <laughs> I'm still waiting for the Alice to pick out in the middle. <laughs> so the way the program works is that you have to track everything you eat and drink every day. And then at the end of the month, we all have to say, what were our three most common things we tracked? Mine was oatmeal, eggs, and vodka. <laughs> the teacher said, Donna, we have to cancel your membership. You're in the wrong program. <laughs> Also during the pandemic, I took an exercise class on Zoom and um, it was great. And three weeks into the program, the teacher calls me up and says, Donna, we have to ask you to leave. And I said, why? She said, because while we were doing the crunches, everyone saw you eating a tub of ice cream. <laughs> So I got this bill in the mail from my doctor, and I didn't think that I was responsible to pay for this amount. So I called the doctor's office, and I was like, look, you know, I don't think that I should be responsible for this. They said, okay, you have to fill out these forms. And they sent me like 20 forms. And then I filled them out, sent them back, and they said, okay, now you have to fill out these forms. I fill them out, I send them back. They're like, okay, now you have to go on the portal and fill out even more forms. I was like, oh my God, I swear, the next thing they were going to ask me was, bring me the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, God. So have you heard of these new, uh, new thing called a rage room? Ain't that, they're pretty popular now. You can go into a room, you suit up, they give you hammers and bats, you can pick your level of rage, and you go into a room, and you bash TV screens and tables, and you throw glass cups and dishes all around. I don't know. I grew up in a loud Italian family. Every room in our house was a rage room. So I went to return these shoes at DSW, and the cashier said to me, sorry, we can't let you return these shoes. And I said, why not? 
I come here all the time. How come? I'm like really pissed off. And look at my account. I love this store. Just look up on my account. I'm here all the time. You tell me why I can't return these shoes. And, and she said, because you bought them at Macy's. <laughs> So, my husband and a few good friends, we just got back from Portugal. And, oh my God, it was like boot camp. We, for four days, I mean, it was beautiful, but for four days, all we did was walk and walk and walk and climb hills and up the hills and down the hills and hundreds of steps to get to the top of monuments and buildings. Oh my God, when my husband came home, we were so tired. We couldn't even walk for three weeks from the living room to the kitchen. <laughs> but we had fun. <laughs> so I, I don't know if you've seen these new cameras where you can watch your pet when you're not home. They're called Furbos. Furbo. My friend bought one so she can watch her dog while she's not right there. You have an app on your phone. And you can send a treat. You fill the little furbo up and you can send a treat from, from your phone. And so she'll go to it. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? And she presses a button and the snack flies out of this camera and goes on the floor. And the dog is running after it. I was like, wow. I need to get one of these for my husband. <laughs> Do you want a Dorito? Oh, I'll give you a Dorito. Good boy, good boy. Oh, no, 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 don't pee on the rug again. So my mom has always favored my brother over me. I don't know if it's an Italian thing, but I don't know. So I was on the phone with her one day, and she said, um, Donna, I have something really important to tell you. And she, then, just then, she saw my brother's phone number coming across, and she said, hold on. And I'm holding. And I'm holding. And I'm holding. <laughs> Finally, I gave up and I just hung up. So that night, I said to her, Ma, what happened? You told me you had something important to tell me. She said, oh, I forgot. <laughs> she said, oh, but that reminds me. You have to pick up your brother from the train tomorrow. <laughs> so my mother was living with me for a while, or living with us. Yeah. And um, I was at work and I gave her a call. And I said, you know, she, she didn't answer, so I said, Ma, it's me, pick up. She still didn't answer. I said, Ma, it's me, pick up. Still didn't answer, and now I'm getting a little nervous. Thank God I live really close to my, my job. And I flew home, and I'm in the car, and I'm dialing, Ma, it's me, pick up. Ma, it's me, pick up. And my voice is getting really loud. And I walk in the house, and she's walking out of the bathroom, and I said, how long were you in the bathroom floor? She said, oh, just a few seconds. I said, I've been calling you and calling you. Haven't you heard? And she said, I didn't know who that lady was on the phone. <laughs> she said, why didn't you say your name? out for a visit and I did pick him up from the train and we had a great time we had a great visit and um, and then at the end I could see he stole my vodka <laughs> thank you you've been a great audience
Got a problem with vodka. Aside from that, very funny. <laughs>